Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're brand new here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Um, before we start the video, if you cannot tell, I do have a little bit of a cold, so please excuse how I sound. Um, I do sound a little bad or I might cough a little. Um, just please excuse it. But um, anyways, to the video. So today I thought would be probably the right day to do my SAS wrap up video for Bath and Body Works. Um, today currently is July 2nd. Um, this video is going to come out a few days after July 2nd though. I'm filming in a little bit of advance. I'm trying to film all of my videos right now in this house because I'm about to move next week. So, um, and I know I've said that multiple times, but when I do move, I'm going to film all the new videos in my house that will be in my new house. So, Anyways, um, today I'm just going to go over everything that we got for SAS at Bath & Body Works. The highs, the lows, what could be different next year, um, and we're just going to chat about it. So, let's start off with candles. So, um, we got three different collections for candles. The first collection was the... Where's my pink petal tea cake? Was the, like, pink petal tea cake collection, um which was some returning ones like hot fudge drizzle and mango. You know what guys, I just, okay. This is the mango, sunny chocolate mango, but guys, when I was walking down the stairs, I had this candle on my hand and I totally dropped it, so it broke. But that is okay, because I finished this one a while ago, so I'm about to throw it away, but this one smells really good. We'll talk about that in a minute though. Um, so we got that collection, and then we also got the new blends, so like Cinnamon Spice Vanilla and Paris Cafe. And then we also got the, what I call the bad packaging, which was like Rose Water and Ivy, Cactus Blossom, some scents like that, Hibiscus Waterfalls, so that one too. I did not pick up any of those, but let's start with the, uh, well, let's start with the Pink Petal Tea Cake Collection. So this one is Pink Petal Tea Cake, which is Pink Rose Petals, Pound Cake, and Vanilla Glaze. Um, you guys know I love this one. So yum. I would like to see this one come back for spring as a regular. Um, hoping they will do that. Okay, then this one, which I just broke, Sunny Tropical Mango. This one is Tropical Sugared Mango, Sunny Pink Pineapple, and Ripe Nectarine. This one smells really good. Usually I'm not in like tropical vibes, but right now I'm in that because it is summer and I really like that one. It's a nice one. The top is over here. Okay. And then last but not least for the ones that I got, this one is hot fudge drizzle. This is rich melted chocolate, vanilla bean, and a dash of brown sugar. This is such a nice one. I have to finish this one off. Um, it's on my list to finish in this house, but um, it is so nice. What a nice hot fudge scent. Super, super nice. So those are the ones that I got. There were some other, like the marshmallow pineapple one. Um, there was a few others too, but I didn't get those. All right, now let's talk about the blends. We got cinnamon spice vanilla and Paris Cafe. This one is rich roasted coffee, vanilla cream, and ground cinnamon and sugar crystals. This is so, so nice. This is probably my favorite one out of the blends. I think I said that this is my favorite out of the blends in my ranking. But yeah, this one is so good. Um, beautiful coffee scent with like the cinnamon spice um, part. So it like kind of grounds Paris Cafe, which is good because Paris Cafe by itself is way too strong. But this one is just so good. Probably the best coffee scent I've ever smelt. So good. All right. Also in the blends, we got the Champagne Toast and Fresh Orange. This one is Bubbly Champagne, Sparkling Berries, and Fresh Orange. Okay, this one's like not my favorite, but um, you know, I already talked about this in my ranking. It's okay, not my favorite. It's good for the kitchen. You guys know my thoughts. I'm not huge on citrus. And then last but not least for the ones that I got, Market Peach and Strawberry Pound Cake. This one is Juicy Peaches Golden Shortcake and Whipped Cream. I did burn this one outside and it's perfect for the porch. You guys know I love this one. Such a beautiful peach scent. Um, really should just get called peach pie, um, but anyways. 
I would love to see them do this in body care because I think it would be perfect. But, so those are the candles that I got for SAS. All right, now on to the body care. So we've got the, of course, Sunset Glow. Um, this one is Fresh Coconut Dreamy Moonflower, sorry, Fresh Coconut Sparkling Cherry Seltzer Dreamy Moonflower and Caramelized Vanilla. I like to read that correctly. You guys know how much I love Sunset Glow. This one is so good. It's so calming, so peaceful. It's very sweet. Love this one so much. Thank God I got extras of this. All right. Next up, we got, and I actually would not be shocked if they made this uh, like a normal scent for summer because that's such a popular scent. Everyone loves it. All right, Sea Island Shore. This one is um, Clean Cotton, Orange Blossom, Blue Freesia, and, Co and Ocean Musk. This one is so nice. This is not like your typical ocean scent. It's really nice and complex. It's got the cotton note to it. Um, it's got like the floralish note to it. So it's really, really nice. Love this one. All right. Then we've got one in a million. This one is Jasmine Extract, Tuberose Oil, White Gardenia, Pink Pepper, and Cashmere Musk. This is a really nice floral scent. I know a lot of people didn't like this one, but um, I thought it was nice. If you're not into florals, of course, you're not gonna like this one. And I know a lot of people aren't into florals, but I really think florals are nice in the shower because they're very calm, peaceful, relaxing. So I do like the one in a million. Is it my favorite? No, but I can appreciate it. All right, pink chiffon. And this one is sparkling red pear, jasmine petals, tear flower, vanilla orchid, and chiffon musk. All of these have a lot of um, descriptions for their notes. This one's not bad at all. I've really been trying to determine like what this scent is though. Like I like it, but I'm still trying to figure out kind of what it is. It just smells like chiffon, you know? It's very pink. It's very like feminine, you know? It's nice. It's very sweet, very, it kind of smells like sunscreen. I get the pear, maybe some banana. It's a nice uh, scent though. All right. And then last but not least, this was the new Cinnamon Donut Swirl. This is sweet cinnamon, brown sugar, and fluffy dough. You guys know I really like this one. It's cinnamon, it's sugar, it's so yum. Uh, it's not what I expected. I expected more of like the cinnamon spiced vanilla binge, the shower gel. That's what I expected, but this is a very dough yeasty scent. I do kind of wish that it was more like cinnamon spiced vanilla, but... um. This is okay. It's kind of weird though, but I like it. So that is that one. I also have the lotion in that one and the lotion in one in a million. All right, and then hand soaps, we got rainbow cereal. This one is fruity cereal crunch and a splash of milk. Let's smell this one. This one I really like. It smells like cereal. It's so nostalgic. It's yum. It's very fruity. Even if you don't like cereal scents, try this one out because it smells like fruit. It's super nice. It's very sweet though. So, all right. And then Chasing Daydreams. This one is Bright Orange Zest, Glowing Magnolias, and Sparkling Sun Rays. This is not my favorite. I mean, it's the typical SAS scent, you know, it smells very bright, very like, it's it perfectly fits the name, Chasing Daydreams. It's just a very bright scent, a little floral, um, but yeah, very bright. So that is that one. And that is pretty much all of the stuff for SAS that I got. Um, that is just like the stuff for SAS that does not include any candles that were like 75% off or just any candles or body care that was on clearance. So uh, yeah, that is everything. I think that that's all that we have to talk about, but um, let me know your thoughts on SAS this year at Bath & Body Works down in the comments below. Um, 
I'm really excited for this Christmas's SAS. I think that this was definitely successful SAS. We got a good amount of 75% off candles. We got a good amount of 75% off body care. I feel like from the start, the body care was pretty low at $4.95. And then it kind of um, went from $4.95 to $3.95 and then just fluctuated from there. But um, I definitely enjoyed this SAS. We got some nice candles, nice body care, hand soaps, wallflowers, all of it. Um, so yeah, like if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to help support our channel. We are trying to hit 100 subscribers and I'm going to do a giveaway at 100 subscribers. Um, so thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.